Hello everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this brand new and innovative closed loop liquid CPU cooler from Zalman. This is the Zalman Resurator 3 Max. Now I just called this innovative and if you want to know how innovative is it, well it's innovative enough to win the uh, CES 2013 Interna International CES 2013 Innovations Award right there for uh, design and engineering showcase honors. Kind of cool. Uh, apart from that, so this is a sort of new type or at least a new design, a design that I haven't seen before when it comes to closed loop li liquid CPU coolers. Uh, let's take a look at, at some of the features up here in the back. First off, up to 400 watts TDP of cooling. That's, that's pretty huge. That's a massive amount of heat that this cooler is capable of dissipating. Uh, also claiming silent and powerful cooling. Uh, you get a dual radial radiator, and I'll give you guys a close up of that in a few moments. Uh, it's designed to maximize the airflow structure. Dual path radiator, radiator to optimize heat transfer and cooling performance. High performance built in water pump to ensure maximum flow rate. High performance thermal grease, that's the ZMST G2M uh, provided from Zalman. Uh, it uses nanofluid, so a special type of liquid inside the liquid cooling loop. Uh, you can do an additional, you get a 120 millimeter fan installed and you can add another one if you want to do a push-pull configuration. You also get Zalman's uh, quite nice looking black pearl nickel plating on the copper, uh, which uh, can help corrosion resistance, and a blue LED fan. Over here on the side of the bo box, we can see uh, compatibility, which is listed right there. For Intel, we have LGA 2011, 1366, 1156, 1155, 1150, and 775. So um, pretty much any Intel socket um, in the past five plus years you should be compatible with. Uh, also for AMD, sockets FM1 and FM2 for your APUs, and sockets AM2, AM2+, plus, AM3, and AM3+, plus for um, your more traditional non-APU CPUs from AMD. Uh, also here you can see all of the detailed specs as far as the materials. Again, pure copper and black pearl nickel plating. The water block is also a pure copper base. Uh, dimensions are listed right here, 120 by 145 by 79. Uh, weight is 897 grams. Embedded pump, here's all your fan information right there, uh, including the long life bearing, PWM capability, 1000 to 2200 RPM uh, rotational speed and uh, also a uh, fan noise of 18.9 to 36.7 decibels. Uh, apart from that, 12 volts, and uh, you also get a gram of thermal grease down there at the bottom and the temperature range. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Taking a look uh, inside the box, we have uh, some accessories, of course, as well as some documentation. So here's your Reservator 3 Max uh, documentation in English, French, Dutch, and Espanol. Right there, so um, let's flip open a couple pages. There, quick look at the inside. Black and white instructions for getting everything installed and up and running. Uh, apart from that, we have this little packet right here which contains pretty much all of your accessories apart from the documentation. So uh, here's a collection of uh, back plates and front plates which are taped together currently. Let me untape them. Uh, okay. Uh, so here's a universal backplate, which uh, works for both AMD as well as Intel sockets. It's going to be all the Intel sockets, except for 2011, which has a universal backplate on it. Um, so, of course, the instructions are going to give you, uh, well, instructions on how to put all this together. Uh, you also get this top plate. That's for AMD sockets. You also get this uh, bracket right there. That's for the uh, Intel sockets, such as 1155, 1156, and the newest 1150 for Intel's fourth generation core processors. Uh, in this little bag, you get a, a bunch of screws. I'm not going to open it right now because they'll kind of go everywhere. But you get some long screws for installing the fans. You get some shorter plugs here, uh, as well as uh, what I like they, they do have here, which is brass or some, some sort of brass colored screws as well as uh, the metal and that will help you tell which screws are for which socket again labeled in the manual uh, you get some adhesive or in a little adhesive square right here and that's to help uh, connect the back plate to the back of your motherboard for installation as well as this little cap right there that holds it in place uh, here is your one gram of included thermal paste and then you also get a Zalman case badge and now here is the Resurator 3 Max itself, and uh, if you look at many closed-loop liquid CPU coolers, you might immediately notice a difference here uh, with this particular unit than some of the other ones uh, on the market. Let's start off over on this side. This is the pump and block side. Uh, so first off, this does have a blue LED logo in the uh, white area here that will light up when it's actually plugged in. The fan connector, I'm sorry, not fan, this uh, is a fan connector, but this is for the pump right there, so a little three-pin. Uh, power plug, just route that over to your motherboard fan header. Plug that in to get the pump and the LED up and running. 
Here at the bottom you can see the copper base. It's got a protective little piece of plastic over it, so make sure you don't remove that until you're ready to install it with the thermal paste. Uh, and this copper block here does use uh, special microfin technology to uh, aid with the transfer of the heat from the copper into the liquid and to be dispersed out into the radiator. Uh, the bottom part of the pump here, I'm not going to go through full installation, but I will show you how uh, this particular item installs. This is the uh, intel bracket, so you just line it up like that. Uh, screw that into place with the included eight screws, which does keep it very secure and balanced around the uh, outside edges of the pump. And of course, uh, over here, you're going to have various mounting options uh, along with the included screws, depending on which socket you're installing to. But that's uh, essentially a uh, basic look at the installation right there. Uh, from the pump, you have your tubing right here, and uh, this does have a bit of uh, angling ability to it. So depending on where you mount uh, the radiator itself, you can angle that so that the tubing can reach over to the radiator. And uh, let's finish on that, the radiator for the Razor Radiator 3 Max, which is right here. And uh, the first thing you'll probably notice is the included 120 millimeter fan. Uh, this is not a removable fan, uh, but it is a ultra low, low noise fan, and it does have the uh, RPM, uh, uh, RPM range of, again, 1,000 to 2,200 uh, RPMs, plus or minus 10%. Uh, this one is PWM capable, so the uh, plug's come in there at the bottom. So there's your four pin PWM plug. Uh, for that fan itself. Uh, this fan also has a blue LED that will light up. And then behind it, you can probably see the uh, nickel-plated copper fins of the radiator. So this actually has a dual radiator. You, you, you can see inside uh, you have a smaller radiator, and then you also have a larger radiator going along the outside. Um, so that is uh, what they're referring to as the quadro cooling path because there's four heat pipes that go uh, from the, uh, actually from the uh, pump inlets here circulating through both of those radiators and then back out to go back over to the pump. And so that's going to provide uh, excellent heat dissipation out into the uh, fins of the radiator itself, um, which, uh, again, if you if you're follow the PC technology a bit, you might recognize the look of this radiator. Uh, Zalman's orb-style radiators uh, were extremely pop popular in the mid to late 2000s, and um, they were extremely high performers. And uh, I've made use of a few of them before, so they're kind of continuing that tradition here. But they've integrated it into a closed-loop CPU cooler. Uh, here at the back, you might notice, well, here on the top you get a Zalman uh, logo, so depending how you angle, you might be able to get a view of that. Actually, it's on both sides. Uh, and then if you do want to set up a push-pull configuration, here at the back uh, you have a standard 120 millimeter fan mount. So if, for instance, you already have a fan in your case, you can simply mount that onto it using the included longer screws. Of course, make sure that the fans are oriented so that they're both going to be pushing air that way. That's, that's kind of the direction that the airflow is intended to go. And uh, you'll get yourself a nice push-pull configuration for some added cooling performance from this particular unit. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, we've been taking a closer look at the Reservator 3 Max closed-loop liquid CPU cooler from Zalman. One last spec I wanted to point out, since it is uh, important in certain builds. Uh, tubing length here is 11 inches, which should be plenty. Uh, but that's all for this one. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, don't forget to hit the like button, which is right down there. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends if you think they might be interested in this product here. And we'll see you all next time on Newegg TV.